What's up y'all, it's your girl around money and welcome back to the channel. So tonight's video is a lot different. We are at a line for exclusive release bottles of bourbon. I'm just now getting into bourbon. As you guys know, I like Hennessy, but I just started dibbling and dabbling in it and I heard that this was the place to be. So here we are, you guys. If you guys have not yet, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave your comments, and make sure you click that bell for future post notifications. And any bourbon drinkers out there, let me know what you think. Um, what's some good bourbons that I need in my collection? Keep me posted if I don't pick the ones up tonight that I should have. Y'all let me know. We are downtown Houston at Specs. Here we are, and we just got here like maybe about an hour ago, and the line was already about, oof, I'd say at least like 10 deep, and now the line is starting to get a little longer, so we will be out here till 10 a.m. Right now, it's about not even 9 o'clock p.m., so this is a long night for us, but um, like I said, I heard that if you're drinking bourbon, the bourbons that they're releasing tonight or tomorrow morning is the bottles that you want to have, and I'm building a bar, so I need to have all the exclusives. My wife is out here supporting me. We met some new friends. We have eaten. Spex has a deli inside, so we're good to go. I even got the dog with me. Yeah. So we are grabbing some bottles of Weller. Um, we are getting some Stag Junior. We are getting some Blankton's, if I'm saying that correctly. And a few other things that I have no clue, but everyone in line has been very helpful, very chill about everything, let me know what I need to get, what I should have. So I'm excited, you guys. Like to be a first time like bourbon dibbler and dabbler, I'm gonna have some lit shit. So I'll keep you guys posted. It is a long night. Like I said, it's barely 9 p.m. and we have to be here until 10 a.m. the next morning. Per Texas law, they can't open any earlier than 10 a.m. That's when they can start selling liquor. So, woo. wish me luck, guys. I know I'm gonna get the allotment, but it's just staying up at this point. The hardest part is over, which is getting in line. We got more people showing up. So I'm curious to see what the line is going to look like the rest of the night. I'll show you guys later. All right, so it is serious. We got people pulling up with a cooler. We got a cheese tray. They have a TV with a generator for video games. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys when it's all set up. So you can see the setup. We had to go back and get some candy. Our buddy next to us is gonna go drive Lyft and Uber for a little bit, so we're watching his chair. So, that's what we got going on. Snack table. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I don't, I'm not even gonna entertain this with the shit you wanna record. Cause I don't get why you would sit on somebody's Snickers and then say you didn't sit on it. So not only was your ass on it, but you not melted. But then you ate yours that was normal and not melted. Sorry. By the time the morning comes, it'll be I'm normal. not eating that. Don't nobody want no fucking smashed up, melted up Snickers. Teeny. She bad, mama. She not good. All right, guys, so we have now somehow made it into the car. It's a little past midnight. Um, I think everyone's energy in line is starting to deplete to a certain extent. Um, I think we're gonna try to take a nap. The car is literally parked right 
kind of in front of our chairs and everyone in line is pretty cool so no one's gonna take our spot or anything like that we're kind of all looking out for each other so let me show you guys what the line looks like right now all right so this is what the line looks like as you guys can see some of the chairs are empty the line is pretty long down that way it's not as many people as i thought but yeah everyone is just kind of turned down baby girl is knocked dog is still wide awake so like i said i'm about to try to take a quick nap before the real festivities begin we still have a long 10 hours you guys or a little less than 10 but basically 10 because i'm sure the time is gonna drag so i'll catch you guys in the morning good morning you guys it is 5 26 in the morning um i just kind of woke up or i did just wake up and everyone's chair is pretty much empty so i don't know if people are in their cars asleep right now but i'm about to get out walk around i hear the line is wrapped around the building so i'll give you guys a sneak peek of um what the line looks like now at five o'clock this morning we still have another five hours to go so so this is pretty much the front of the line goes down They've got a food truck on site, taco truck at 5 a.m. We got people asleep. Hey! <laughs> we got the chairs, people still in their chairs. So the line pretty much keeps going. The cars are blocking the chairs in the line, but you guys catch my drift. people food truck el patio mexican restaurant excuse me more chairs we got the police up here making sure everyone's safe we got people camping out okay this is where the line gets thick you guys this is insane. Like, I thought craft beer releases were a situation, but I've never seen anything like this for liquor. But I guess there's a first time for everything. Happy to be a part of it to a certain extent. Wish I was in my bed curled up, but it's cool. I'm gonna have some cool shit by the end of this all line is still going you guys wrapped around the building we got a porta potty over here that was nice this is crazy we out here we outside y'all literally is this the end so this looks like the end of the line Oh, it does? It keeps going? What? That's crazy. Okay, I guess we're going to keep going. So you guys really get an idea of how long the line really gets. And I mean, you guys have to understand, too, that there's a possibility that people are still going to show up. This is just 5 a.m. Some people may still try to show up because it doesn't start until 10 a.m. This is crazy. Oh, we were over here before. Still going. Still going. 
It's still fucking going. <laughs> This is crazy. You guys know I've been walking and talking for about three minutes now. This is how long the line is. I don't wanna have my light on to be super intrusive while people are outside. But yeah. How many people do you think this is? Uh, the said like 400. So this is like 400 people, you guys. So, um, apparently there's one bottle per person and then there's like a couple bottles that are, um, you have to pick between. So everyone should walk away with something. Fingers crossed. I mean, since I am in the top 10, I wish everyone else well. So this is like the other side of the parking lot. Did we just walk a loop, literally? We literally just walked the loop and the line is still going. We're basically back. Okay, so this is the end of the line right here. All right guys, so that was the end of the line. <laughs> I was walking, it seems like since forever. Um, this is kind of where we started. Those are like the handicapped parking spaces. That's where we were parked at when we initially got here. So this is basically the front of the store. We literally just did a loop and people are outside. Um, wrapped all the way around the building. Uh, someone just said they got here five minutes ago. As you guys know, I've been here since yesterday at 9 p.m. Um, so I'm just waiting for this last stretch of time before they open the doors. Curious to see how everything is going to go as far as like how they allocate everything and if they have everything set up, if they're doing one by one. Like how long is this shit really about to take? Um, I'm just happy I'm in the front so I can move on with my day. I'm ready to go home, take a shower, curl in bed and just sleep all day. Eating is secondary at this point. I'm so tired, you guys. Um, I'll see you guys shortly. We got Specs workers here already. So I guess they're preparing for the festivities. And we are back at the front of the line where we started. All right, guys, so an update. So a guy in line, I'm not sure where he got the information from, but he came back and he told us that um, there's like pallets of the one bourbon that everyone's here for, the Blanktons. Um, so everyone should get a bottle. There's about 700 bottles apparently. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm really curious. They're even saying that there's some surprises, like things that even aren't that aren't even listed on the list of bourbons that are supposed to be released. So like I said, not to keep rubbing it in, but because we are in the top 10, yeah. we are gonna get to have like first pick on everything that they have in there. So I'm excited. This one here is a tequila drinker. So she's here for me to get the bourbon for me. Um, but everyone's also telling her that um, there's some allocated like exclusive tequilas that they release as well that may be in there that she can actually ask for um that they're not going to put on the shelf so that's something we plan on doing as well so at the end of this video you guys will be able to see everything that we actually came up on we learned some new stuff about bartering and trading so i'm excited to see what's to come and what we'll end up with and i can't wait until we get this bar built so you guys can see all the exclusive bottles on display i'm so excited i'll see you guys soon all right so they are letting us in 20 minutes early so we have a few more minutes till it's go time so that's exciting yeah we made it all right, it's showtime. <laughs> Grabbing a basket, and we're about to get to shopping. Oh, come on, Carla. Oh, come on, come on. You're holding up the line. Go. 
at this time. Alright, let's get our list out. Yep. I'll, I'll take one of those. Thank you. It's an assembly line. Got Falcons over there. Oh, I'm supposed to get ripped. All right, we're still going. We have a basket full of stuff. Oh, shit. Old Forester. I want Old Forester. Stop by for a sample. I promise be the best buy you've ever had. Well, we got about Thank you. All right, so we got everything we need in this basket. Ooh, I'm scared to see what this price um, total is going to be. But I'll be set. This is what I was really here for, you guys, the Blanton. Oh, I know. Uh, can we get a box, please? And then I can do the rest. Uh, I believe. Yeah. I think I did. I split it up right. I think I split it up right. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got my stuff, and the line is still going. You guys, I am on my way John. home. John is nuts. <laughs> All right, so we made it home maybe about, um, I'd say about an hour and a half ago. The store opened up at 10 o'clock. They let us in like at 9.45, which was nice to kind of let us go through the line, as you guys saw, to pick out all the things we wanted. I think they let about 15 to 20 people in at a time. Um found out that we were number eight and nine which was really nice so we were like some of the first people inside we went with the first wave we got our bottles um ended up going to costco after and sam's club so we're at this point kind of running on no sleep or just the nap we took but we're exhausted so i will come back after i take a nap and eat my plate of food I'll come back later and kind of show you guys everything that we got and just let you know, excuse me, how the experience went overall. But I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy girl. And yeah, I'll awesome. see you guys soon.